Throughout my high school wrestling career, leg riding was my kryptonite, and it even continued into my college career. And as you can see, it's just not fun. And in this video, I'll show you how you can go from not getting out into getting your escape. Alright guys, so we're here in the, in the Parkside wrestling room. Now we are gonna do the top five leg riding wrestling defense moves. I don't even know if I do five, but I just have the top five series, so I might as well use it. Uh, but here you go guys, enjoy the video. Alright, so we're, we're doing the leg ride defense. Um, so Crosby, get, get, in, get in the legs, get in the legs. So this, this right here is a classic leg riding position, as you can see. Um, so first things first, Cros Crosby's goal is to get me extended and turn me and put me on my back. So of course what I want to hear is I, I don't want to sit here relaxed. That's that's never a good thing. I mean there's there's one thing, there's a mental thing, and then there's the physical thing, which is the whole technique. So first thing we gotta do, his hips are on me, he's over me. We gotta get hip separation. That's the number one thing here, guys. And so ways to get this, all I'm gonna do is like a little baseball slide. So what I do is I stick this left foot out just like this, and as I do that, I'm sliding in like a baseball. I slide as far as I can. Now look, now look at this, the hip separation here is way more than when he was on me. So from here, there are so many different things I can do, but that's the number one key is the hip separation. So now from here, Crosby, is, his goal is to work on my hands. On this hand control, maybe he can do a reverse bar, but his goal is to grab me, grab my hands, you know, my tricep, whatever, and pull me back and put me in an extended position. And now from here, I need to get hand control. So if he tries to grab something, let's say he grabs that wrist, push that off. Let's say he tries to grab something else, roll it off, push that forward. You do not want him to grab your hands, your wrists, anything like this, because if he grabs one, boom, he can pull you back, and now you're extended, he's got the legs locked, game over. So from here, boom, I got hip separation, I got the hands free, now I keep scooting. This is one of the things, keep scoot, keep scoot, and then boom, he slip the shoulder under his knee. Now from here, I can put my hand under his knee, just like this, I kind of slap him out, I kind of roll over right here, as you can see, I'm already in a single leg position. So just like this, I come, boom, I get that separation. I can either get my reversal by taking down, or as I flip over, I can just get my escape. But his goal is to, is to grab me, grab my hands. So easy, even when I'm turning, just like this, he might uh, you know, get up in a sprawl position here, either kind of like back out right here, just back out like that, or we could almost cut, we could cut, cut across the next ankle, just like this, and push him in, push him in and we could work our answer position. Uh, but that's, that's one right there. Let's work in another one. So Crosby gets the legs back on again. So boom, now from here, we're gonna do that same thing with the baseball slide. We're putting that leg up and we're sliding as far as we can. That hip separation is key. Now from here, I make sure he doesn't grab my hands, but let's say he kind of pulls me over and we're kind of in this position right here, just directly parallel with each other. Now from here, once again, the hand separation. Let's say, boom, we get the hands, hands are good, hands all good. There's no way he gets under my arms at all. Now from here what we can do, we can arch back and bridge as we grab his head and we can almost get a pinning combination. Um, so Crosby has the right leg over. So I'm gonna turn the way that he has the leg in. If I go over, then he has that leg. So he's got that torque. So boom, hands are free. We scoop, we scoop, we scoop. We're gonna grab the head. At the same time, we're kicking over and hip heisting, just like this. Boom, now from here, of course, squeeze tight, get your pin. Let's one more time with that one. Move from this side. We scoop, scoop, scoop. We're gonna grab the head and slap the mat over here as we hip heist with my left leg. Boom, from here, and get your points. So from here, uh, what Crosby's gonna do, this is kind of uh, the uh, par uh, parallel ride, but so let's say he slips the leg deep so he gets a cross body ride. So from here, uh, a lot of people do this if they're really long, but Crosby's goal is to get my arm, extend me, flat me out like that. So from here, I wanna get my leg free, I wanna get my leg out of there. So, as you can see, I'll turn this way, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my left foot, so right now he's riding my, my right side, I'm gonna put my left foot over his ankle, as you can see there, and from here, I am just gonna extend my right leg, and that slips, that slips his foot off. 
right there. So as you can see here, boom, I push my leg free, that slips that out of there. And from here, we're just gonna knee slide, and boom, we're free. So once again, he's got that long leg. Now if you wanna zoom in right there, boom, I cover that with my left leg, and I'm gonna push out with my right leg, and from here, that's already extended, and I'm gonna knee slide out of there, and then you're, you're working from there. That's a lot better position to be, uh, you know, when of course he's not riding your legs. All right, now, now we'll do this one too. So Crosby gets in the legs. Uh, let's just say we slid. Uh, we try to get our head separation. We really couldn't, but he's, he's getting us. He's grabbing our hands just like this. So once again, we've got to get that hand control, but I'm going to start working with the feet. So let's say Crosby rolls me over uh, to this side right here, to my left side. If he rolls me to my left side and he has the right leg in, what, what I have to do is I have to get control of this. So what I can do is I, can, I have to get to the other side and from here, Work, you can work from the feet right here. So when you, when you grab the feet, you don't want to grab from the outside just like this. Let's say he's trying to lock his back. I don't want to grab his foot like this, because that's it's just not a good way to grab it. You want to grab from actually the sole of his foot right here. Now from here, I can extend it, and what I'm going to do, almost like in a little quad pod position, like a tripod, boom, just like that. So Crosby's going to try to stay on me here. His legs are locked, his legs are locked. I got I to gotta get that grip. Let's say boom, got it. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend my arm right there, use my tricep muscle, I'm gonna spin over, boom. From here, I get way more hip separation, and then of course, you can slip that arm in there, you can just knee slide out once again, uh, but it's all about getting, getting that foot and that hip separation. So boom, we, we, gotta, we gotta pick a side here, not, that side's not good, roll over, boom, grab this foot, we're gonna extend that out, we're gonna lift it up, keep scooching, keep scooching, boom, and we're out. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That, that's been the defense. If you guys would like to see offense from the leg riding series, uh, that was great. Bonus move. All right, guys, so for this move, great bonus move today. He's gonna get on top of me, leg ride defense. So he's gonna put the legs in. This is a guy that, like, you can feel like he's, like, really, like, tight on you on top. So all we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna roll, and he's gonna try to follow us, but he probably won't be able to. Also, if this video gets 500 likes, we will do an offensive leg riding series. Uh, so if you guys want that, let's get to 500 likes. Um, yeah. This is Caden's vlog. Dreams to reality merch. Link in bio.